Kuro, TH, welcome. Thank you. So we mentioned TI8. We all made a huge story out of the narrative that of all the teams we had seen come back as TI champs, this felt like the first real chance of seeing a repeat winner two years in a row. Did you feel the pressure of that narrative or did you use that to feel you? Certainly there was like some sort of pressure, but I don't think it, we let it really get to us. It's, it's more like the TI itself is full of pressure mm -hmm. more than anything else. And it's constantly changing. It's not the kind of game where you win TI and now a year later, two years later, you know for sure you're still the best. Like you have to really actively work at it because it's yeah, constantly Yeah, yeah. Dota is evolving. a kind of game, it's impossible to just stay on the top for a long time without like putting your soul into it. Mm -hmm. And even if you put your soul into it, it doesn't matter. Like someone just overtakes you anyway. And how is Kuro as a leader? How would you describe him as a leader when that kind of thing happens, trying to keep everybody focused on going, rolling with the punches? I mean, it's easy for me to say because I know most of what happens behind the scenes usually. It's hard for the public to understand what Kuro's true job is. It's even, it's 90% outside the game that nobody actually sees. So I feel like his true role is not in-game related mm -hmm. as much as outside the game, even though he offers a, an extreme amount of information. He basically said, game. I'm a shit player, but you know. <laughs> 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 I didn't want to say it. Yeah, you <laughs> yeah, how do you separate that? Because I know that you have to make decisions that are business related about friends and teammates. And you know, the, the most common time for teams to make changes sometimes is right after a TI. You made no roster changes, but then in June, you parted ways with Matumba Man. That had to have been really difficult because you've been playing together as the same players for so long. So I know that that wasn't a decision that you made lightly. No, it was, uh, I mean, I was basically depressed for like four weeks afterwards. It sounds silly because I made the decision, but at the end of the day, being captain and leader and whatever of this team, it's. I have so much responsibility. Like they're all trusting me after all to make the right decisions. So getting Weha and replacing Mato with Weha is not just like exchanging like a player for a better player. That's not what happened. It's more like it's more like Mato was like a victim of, of these events. Like mm -hmm. I, I just needed to change something mm -hmm. right now. That's how I felt. Mm -hmm. And how was that as a player for you, GH? I mean, we we all felt some kind of complacency in the team. It felt like everyone was just okay with not being the best. Mm. We had some feelings of, okay, we didn't win this one, but we weren't, we weren't trying our best to win the next one. Yeah, and he's not talking about Mato. He's right. talking about not the whole team. Right, yeah. right. So it felt that the buildup was there, but we didn't know how to deal with it because all of us as players, we actually wanted to win, but we didn't know what was the missing factor that sparked that actually w was gonna lead us to win because no one was feeling this sense of urgency to actually try 120% better to win the game. Mm -hmm. So the situation was kind of weird because I have, have never experienced it before. And Kuro was, uh, I mean, I can keep talking highly about Kuro, but he, was, he actually foresaw what was going to happen. And he made the best choice by actually changing something, even though I, I love Matu and I'm... Um, I love him as a person, as a player, but Kuru had stronger, stronger idea that something had to change. Mm -hmm. And I respect, respect him so highly for that because it's not an easy decision. So I was really happy that he had the strength to do what was necessary in order for us to succeed. Our team and Matu as an individual and someone else too. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much, Kesa. Yeah.